I consider myself to be a veteran player because I started three weeks after Genshin's initial release date, and after playing for almost two years, I've collected quite a bit of artifacts and characters, with these being the teams I use in Abyss. Yeah, I use level 50 and level 60 characters in Abyss. And I haven't activated cons in so long, so enjoy the red exclamation mark. I fear no man, but that thing... It scares me. Despite the amount of freedom I have to choose, there's only really one character I've committed to playing the entire time I've played this game, and that is GOMC. In my opinion, GOMC is the most unique character to play in the game as a main DPS. Uh, construct placement matters immensely due to MCC2, which when used properly allows you to double your skill damage. And furthermore, finding a build where MC can actually do enough damage to 9 star floor 12 is fairly difficult. So let me tell you the story so far. I've already shown this comp on stream before. It's uh, GOMC, Zhongli, Chongyun, and Diona. And this comp, which I've dubbed as Avalanche, is basically a whole mess of ice and rocks. Uh, the plan for this comp was pretty much to make GOMC the strongest main DPS I possibly could. And, well, the Zhongli makes sense as a partner, right? It's by far the best partner for GOMC as you get access to 40% Geo Resonance, or Geo Resistance down through Geo Resonance and Shield. And his Steely can also resonate with GOMC's Boulder, giving really necessary damage over time access. If he has a tenacity of the middle of set, he can also give 20% attack to party members as well, which is what I use on him. Now, Chongyun, on the other hand, is a pretty odd addition, right? Doesn't make sense. Logistically, anyway. But the main reason he's here at all is to proc Miss Splitter stacks on GOMC, because incidentally, GOMC can proc Miss Splitter stacks now, but it was bugged to where the uh, last fifth hit combo, where it procs a Geo damage um, shock, actually didn't proc the Miss Splitter stack. It does now, but it didn't before, and that's why he was here. Despite him losing technically his main purpose, he actually still makes a great noblesse and energy bot. Um, and so he stayed in the comp, and it's actually much easier to get uh, Miss Splitter stacks from him than it is to proc a fifth attack combo. That makes me lose damage. Uh, and then Diona is there just to round off the team with a mineral healer and access to cryo resonance, which gives me a 15% crit rate bonus for free. Although, you know, the more offensive version of this comp would be utilizing Rosaria instead of Diona, because, you know, in that case, then I get even more Curry. However, Diona I put in because at the time, Corrosion was pretty um, rampant through the Abyss, which it isn't nearly as much now. So, let's see how the comp works in the hardest content. Uh, this is from the event a couple of weeks ago, and, you know, it's kind of random to put D-loop clips in here, but I actually don't own him on my main account. It's actually a bit sad, because I can easily Dragon Strike with him. What a shame. Anyway, let's get to the damage you wanted to see. This is 
Say it with me. Not even close. This is order. From whence you came, gather. Swift and merciful. Starfall! Spirit blade. Stabilize. Order guide you. One with my blade. Shake. Submit for judgment. Swift and merciful. Spirit blade. Starfall. Gather. This is order. Submit for judgment. A touch of frost. Spirit blade. Attack. Order guide you. Solidify. Look at you, Blue Submit for judgment. Shake his ass. I will have order. From whence you came, forth. This is order. Okay, so you're probably wondering why do I main Geo MC? Well, it seemed odd to me to main any other character besides the main character. Kind of in their name. You know? As for why Geo MC and not Animo MC or Electro MC. It's really the most involved playstyle in my opinion. And you have to worry about construct placement and positioning above all else when utilizing Geo MC as a main DPS. Plus, there are some necessary animation cancels. For example, holding E, holding E produces a faster boulder spawn slash drop than Tappy does, and it's pretty funny to do an abyss with a character that's considered mediocre by the community. And despite what people say, GMC can actually deal really decent damage. I understand that this might be quite different from my Catalyst account content, and really, this series, what I plan to do at least in the future, is. To show a variety of different unique and you know, overall different character builds. Let me know if you like this type of content or if you have any other suggestions for making the video format better. Now the other team I use in Abyss is a pretty standard Nationals team. My Shelling is probably the most cracked character on this account. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't really show artifacts, huh? Let me show artifacts for the initial for my GOMC team first. Osmanthus what? Yeah, I know. I know. Some of these are really disgusting. Um, so I'm gonna leave 
before I get murdered by the majority of my viewers. See you next time.